What's happening on YouTube? I'm gonna walk you through my diagnostic process for this Ford. It's a, uh, it's got the 5.4 three valve, uh, variable valve timing engine. So the, the DTC or the diagnostic trouble codes are P0, I, on this one it's a P0022. It could also be a P0012, and that's referring, it could either be on uh, either bank. Just some quick stuff is this system runs off of oil pressure, and so it's a, you get the truck warm at operating temperature, and you wanna check oil pressure. Oh, I'm sorry, and before that, pull the dipstick out of it and make sure that the correct oil level is in there. Check the condition of the oil. This, it could be this simple stuff that causes these, you know, you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's a, you know, it's a timing chain or whatever. So, yeah, check that, check the oil pressure. First thing I'm gonna do is remove this uh, air intake tube. All right, so the first thing we wanna make sure of is that this solenoid is not either opened or closed, which is causing uh, this timing issue it should be closed at idle so i'm going to start the truck up and i'm going to unplug that solenoid connector and make sure that it's not you know partially stuck or you know stuck opened and we'll see if there's a little bit of an idle change it fixes the roughness we'll see Nothing. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to actually energize this VCT solenoid. It is a uh, pull down design, so the computer is actually going to supply ground to this solenoid, and that's how it controls it. So let's see what we got. All right, so we got a constant. 12 volts. I don't want to tell you wire colors because it's, it's good, probably going to change from model to model, but I will. Looks like it's red with a yellow tracer. Is power. Now, to see if this is our constant power feed, this one should have 12 volts going to it. Okay, so that's having 12 volts to it. The only thing this solenoid is waiting for is a ground that is supplied by the computer. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the T-pin over to this ground wire and we are going to energize it. So this T-pin is back probed into the control wire. Okay, so that solenoid is waiting for ground. So I'm gonna take my jumper wire to ground and touch it and we should hear a click and an idle change. This is going to open the solenoid uh, changing the timing here, okay? That's open, almost saw the engine, okay? So that lets us know that the solenoid is free and that it is in the correct position. Also, we have enough oil pressure. Okay. Next order of business, we're going to come down to the cam sensors. It's a mirror image on both sides. We're going to hook a lab scope up to these and take a look at the waveforms and we'll go from there. Okay, now we have our lab scope hooked up to this, uh, to this cam signal wire. And also, we hooked up over to that. It's going to focus that cam signal wire. Okay, and then that's going to come up on our screen, and we are going to see if these cam signals line up. Okay, let's start this thing up. See what these waveforms look like. If we got two. All right, here we are looking at the waveforms. So the blue trace is bank 
two. That is the one we have the problem on. It is uh, P0022 uh, intake camshaft over retarded. And you can see they're nowhere close to lined up. They're off by almost five milliseconds. Okay, so the scope doesn't lie. Um, what I'm gonna do is I am going to swap the cam sensors over. I'm gonna take this cam sensor, put it over here, this one over here, and do this same test. And I'll, I'll leave it on the blue trace for bank two. So if it's a cam sensor problem, bl the blue is gonna be over here, right? And then our red trace is gonna be coming in late. So let's do that and uh, go from there. See that bolt right there? That's an eight millimeter. Take that out and on the cam sensor, just be gentle. I believe there's a rubber O-ring in there. Um, and we'll take a look, swap them over, take a look. Okay, we got the cam signals switched from bank one to bank two. Let's see what they're, let's see what, how they look. That's all we need. We'll shut the truck off and take a look at them. As you can see, they are still way, way off here. Um, anyways, these are supposed to be synced up. I do have a capture of a known good 5.4 liter 3 valve. Um, and they are um, perfectly synced as, uh, as they should be. And here is that capture of a known good um, cam signal from my 5.4 liter three valve. You can see that these cam signals are perfectly aligned and this, this, these waveforms correspond with the tone rings on each of the cam phasers. I am uh, comfortable enough to recommend pulling the timing cover and and going from there i'm suspecting uh that we're gonna have some some sort of phaser issue or timing chain issue something like that it's that's certainly not unheard of for this for this engine but we also have the data to back it up okay we saw in the lab scope that uh, bank two was uh, over ret. It was coming in late. So we kind of went through the whole diagnostic process as far as we could, as far as I know how to. And uh, I recommended pulling either at least the valve cover, uh, but also the timing cover if you're going to get that far. So let me show you. I have the engine apart here and we'll, I'll show you what's going on. This is the problem that we had over here on bank two it was over ret so we saw that on the lab scope now you leave this engine um you know don't um, bring it to top dead center because it's going to be hard to diagnose and see what the failed parts are here it is you can see that this timing chain hopefully you can is extremely extremely loose and this uh, automatic timing chain adjuster, I believe that this gasket has failed. It's not protruding out as far as it should. I mean, it should really be out there to try and take that slack off. So this failed uh, timing chain tensioner, okay, we're gonna see that this gasket is probably blown out. So it's leaking oil pressure, so it's not able to apply pressure to that timing chain, sufficient pressure, I should say, okay? And likely, because of the looseness of this, the timing chain has actually jumped, leaving this camshaft in that retarded position, okay? Here's the timing chain tensioner from bank two. As you can see, the 
gasket right there is blown out. All that fuss because this was bleeding out. This tensioner was bleeding out and was not holding tension on there. <laughs>